Oh uh, man, this is an interesting group. You know, we got a lot of new faces, um, a lot of guys who have, you know, played at other places but haven't played here for us. And so um, it's been a big transition in getting those guys ready to play. Um, but but man, we're athletic. You know, we got a lot of dudes that can play a lot of different positions, and and that's been the just the biggest um, I would say um, benefit versus our group last year who were kind of pigeonholed at playing and doing only certain things. This group allows us really to be able to be multiple and do a few other things. Yeah, well, I, I know you lost a, a couple of starters in Savion and Nick McCann. Um, tell me some of the guys that you're expecting to take over and then step into a bigger role. Yeah, well, we're forcing, forcing dudes to kind of play at a higher level than they've been forced to. You know, Jordan Mitchell has had a pretty productive spring. Um, he's, you know, a kid who transferred – um, and, you know, I've been really hard on him, but he's, he takes the coaching and he loves football. He has a skill set. And so I'm really excited about him. You know, I think he still has a long way to go, um, but his upside has been uh, really good and he shows to have some ability to help us. And so we're excited about him. Um, you know, you got guys like Nico who's been in the program, who has started games for us in the past, um, forcing him to be consistent. Um, you know, it's something that we're really talking to every day and working through. But, you know, he's a, he's a guy who's made a lot of plays around here. Um, and then, you know, obviously you have the Devon Sears and you have some other kids just who haven't really played or haven't been forced to play. And now we're really just trying to see what they can do on a consistent basis. Yeah, um, and you mentioned some of the new faces. How have you seen them adjust to their first year? I think they've been good, you know, and like, you know, they're new here, but they played at other places. You know, you got like Dominique Ratcliffe new face, but he was at Lafayette. He knows how to practice and knows how to kind of pull and go through it. And so, you know, you have some guys who are new for us, but, you know, they've, they've played and practiced and they know uh, kind of what this game is and what it takes. And so it's just really every day um, beating their head in and, and making them understand that this is how we play it here and this is how physical we have to be. Um, and, and that's something I can't preach enough. Oh, well, Jordan Revels is special, you know, and he gives us the ability to do a number of different things. You know, you're going to look up in a game and his hands is going to be in the ground just like it was in the past. And so, you know, he's just one of those kids that can do a lot of things. And when you have a kid like that, um, it gives you an opportunity to play different and multiple fronts and packages, if, you know. And so um, I think he's very diverse and, and his diversity has just helped us all the way around. Um, it, it definitely makes me think a little bit more up front and who I can put in at certain spots. But he's helping our football team, and that's what matters. Yeah. Um, with, with the D-line unit, you know, what are some of the things that you've really tried to drill into them during spring camp? Right now, our footwork, um, you know, it has to improve. Um, just consistently not overstepping stunts and not overstepping, um, you know, attacking my key. Uh, but our hands, our footwork, and then I would say our overall pad level. Um, you know, we spent a lot of time obviously teaching plays and learning plays. But that's one thing I will say about this group. Uh, they, for the most part, understand where to go. Um, Technique-wise is what we've really been harping on and focusing in on, just because a lot of them are so raw. And so hand placement, like I said, pad level and footwork are things we work every day. Um, and then with the spring game, which is in, I think, the first half of the sounds like it's going to be a little bit more of a control setting. There's going to be a, a few live segments. So what, what do you want to see out of your unit um, during the spring? Yeah, I just want to see him fight and finish, you know. Um, we, we talk it all the time, our head coach, it, it trickles down, but he, you know, really emphasizes the last few days our finish. And so you saw that today, and I think that's something we got to really continue to improve on as a football team, but especially up front is not only fighting, but then when the play develops or the play happens, working to finish every play. And so I, I hope I see that. I hope, you know, we get off blocks and we make plays, of course, but I do want to see our group finish and, and really control the line of scrimmage.